some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello all. You know, normally I'm on here uh, talking about and making fun of sovereign citizens and First Amendment auditors and everything like that. But this morning I received an email from uh, a subscriber of mine who gives me quite a few videos to do. And, uh, well, I didn't read it in its full entirety until I got home from work. And according to this email, uh, there was a, a incident that occurred in Dallas a few days ago where uh, an officer lost his life due to the stupidity of a uh, Moorish sovereign citizen. Yeah, another Moorish sovereign citizen who decided to take uh, other people's lives and then lost his own in the, uh, well, crossfire. Now I'm not going to get into the general BS on uh, sovtards and everything like that in this particular video. No, we're going to completely ignore Corey Cobb L. Bay and just talk about the lost life, the lost, uh, well, everything with this guy. I mean, he touched so many lives, and uh, it's unfortunate to uh, realize that some people in this uh, world are going to be calling him a tyrant. But, you know, let's just ignore that for now and watch a video that shows how many lives this guy touched before he passed on. And just last year, Officer Burks was Mr. Burks, a math teacher at Texas Can Academy. His former employer saying tonight, Mr. Burks made a lasting impact as a math teacher, instructional coach, and a mentor. His commitment to education and the community profoundly touched the lives of countless students and colleagues. Tonight, one of those students spoke to NBC5 education reporter Wayne Carter. Still in shock, I'm not gonna lie to you. Noe Gordillo called in sick after getting the news. And I'm kind of like still at a loss for words. Noe first met Darren Burks at Dallas Can Academy in Pleasant Grove. I knew him as Coach Burks, because um, he kind of like helped me coach, like he coached me through basically life. This school specializes in helping students who struggled in traditional schools. They come here to find a path to graduation. And I was kind of addicted to sleeping pills and stuff like that. He's kind of mm -hmm. the one that he's one of the ones um, that were like asking me, hey, bro, you good? How's your day going? He wouldn't talk to me as a teacher. He literally genuinely talked to me as as my friend. We're told it's why Burks wanted to be here, not just teaching math, but reaching the students who needed him most. But he's definitely one of the ones that was kind of like a key factor for me to um, shaping up, I guess. Burks called, checked up on Noe, made sure he studied, and ultimately left campus with a degree in hand and his past behind him. He would go to Fitness Connection right here in Mesquite, just like I would. Um, there were a couple of times where we even worked out together. And Burks helped students from the inner city and from the burbs, where he worked with the Boy Scouts, from his fraternity, to the community center just near where he was working Thursday night. Burks gave back. He was a helper. And as much as he loved the classroom, he wanted to do more. His friends say he felt working as a police officer would have a greater impact. Just kind of went, I guess, for the tears to fall out. Noe says as much as he hurts, he knows his coach would remind us not to judge the shooter. I know this is going to sound a little crazy, but like nobody really knows what people go through and stuff like that, what maybe cost them to do it. Noe is training for his first bodybuilding show. Coach Burks had promised to be there. So he was very excited to like see me on stage. He says he's going to train even harder now. Do it for the teacher, friend, coach who changed his life. But I hope that I make uh, Coach Burks proud on that stage. Wayne Carter. NBC5. Well, I hope you rest in peace, uh, Officer Darren Burks. May you find peace in the afterlife. And, uh, well, as far as those here in the uh, living side of everything, yeah, I'm sure there's going to be quite a few uh, morons who would consider you a tyrant for just being a police officer when they fail to realize there's more to uh, people than that badge. In your particular case, you were a teacher that helped people get off of drugs, helped them graduate high school, helped them out quite a bit. 
Uh, so your deeds will not go unrecognized by your peers. Sure, they may not uh, go recognized by the uh, auditors that we uh, deal with every day. Because, well, hell to hell with them anyway. I mean, you did your duty. You did what you love to do. And, uh, well, there's a special place for you out there somewhere for people like you. <laughs>